you know they had to change the name of that song let's get it started because it was called let's get retarded did y'all know that shout out to the black ips yep let's get it started had to change they had to change the name because it was saying let's get retarded let's see let's see if that's on the internet yeah let's get it started as a song by american group the black eyed peas it's a clean version of let's get retarded from their third studio album ella funk in 2003. yep see how easy it is to just change the whole shit up just change it up no problem it's offensive yeah let's switch up the whole damn song and look how popular the song became ain't that crazy that's crazy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Eric, and we are down here. I'm talking to y'all like we've been on the damn thing for 20 minutes. <laughs> so what's up? What's going on? It's Friday. Y'all got jobs and y'all got to do, but thank you for taking your time out of your day to spend it with me. So what is going on? Does anybody have any fun plans this weekend? What are y'all doing? I've been running my mouth down to the social media. If you know, you know. Um, but um, I, I, I just be having some thoughts, and I, I share my I, what I'm thinking. I put it on Twitter. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I just, I love Twitter for that reason. I just have my thoughts, and I just. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Let's go to the blogs, girl. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you stopped by. Um, let's see what's going on down to the bliggity blick. I sponsored the now yes. I sponsored the blog. Let me tell you something. Bliggity blogs. Girl, what? Say what? Right, that's what I'm saying. That's that's this is from the Jasmine brand. Say what? It says trigger warning. It's a story about a man. <sighs> and his proximity to children. Here, let me let me put my let me put my comment. Say what? Top BBC news anchor who famously announced Queen Elizabeth's death pleads guilty to accessing sexual images of children as young as seven years old. Marry them, they say. Partner with them, they say. Trigger warning. Renowned. Ex-BBC News anchor Hugh Edwards has pleaded guilty to charges involving indecent images of children. He entered his plea on J July 31st, admitting to three counts of making indecent pictures of children. He received 377 images, including 41 children via WhatsApp. Two of the photos were of a seven-year-old. Edwards, who famously announced Queen Elizabeth's death in 2022, left BBC in April after allegations of paying a young person for explicit photos. His wife, Vicky Find, stated he is dealing with severe mental health issues and is currently in hospital care. Edwards resigned from BBC based on medical advice. He is out on bail and will be sentenced on September 16th. That ain't no mental health problem. He needs to deal with his consequences of his actions and be locked up. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's other son is walking free. Lock him up, throw away the key, protect the children. I'll never forget the day some random man on Keek sent me a video of a child as young as seven performing inappropriate acts on a grown man when I was 10 years old. I loathe the people who purchase this stuff just as much as the people who make it. Children are innocent and these things destroy them when they get older. They do. Y'all don't be caring about kids enough. It's too many children in, in trafficking. There's too many children in foster care. I think y'all use 
children as a cloak for your bullshit to say, oh, don't do that in front of children. Oh, the children are watching and all this stuff. Y'all don't care. Y'all really don't be caring about the kids. Y'all introducing them to, um, you're introducing them to themes at a very, very, very young age. I remember this guy I was talking to and to his, uh, his cousin and her, his girlfriend came over and they were wanting to watch power. Right. And she has a child. I had, ch I have children. They were younger. Um, I say this was like five years ago. His cousin and his girlfriend were over. They put on power. I asked my sons to leave the room. They're nine and 10, nine, 10, right? So the themes that are on power to me, in my opinion, aren't child or age that, that age, 10, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11. Power isn't age appropriate for little boy eyes, little girl eyes, little non-binary eyes, okay? It's not for that age bracket. I wouldn't say power is, right? I, I, I wouldn't introduce those themes because they're like, what the fuck? Y'all be worried about fucking and all that other stuff. But it's like literally it, any of the other themes too, the violence, the mistreating of women, the drug dealing, all of the stuff. And she let her, I mean, I, t I said, you want him to go in the room with my sons? And he was on the floor like this, just watching it. Fucking, he wanted to watch it. It was almost as though he watches it. Sound like he watches it. He was like that on the floor. I was like, oh, okay. Is that what they do in Spain? <laughs> Girl. I was like, okay, you'd be surprised people. I don't know. You'd be surprised the situations people put their children in. You would, you would be sh actually, you shouldn't be shocked. All the stuff that we hear nowadays, these people leaving their kids in cars, people, people leaving their kids in cars to go gamble and the kids burning up in the cars. Yeah. People don't, I, it's not everybody, just because you're able to do it, you shouldn't do it. Just because you're able to have children doesn't mean you should. Just because you're able to get married doesn't mean you should. All these things that they're telling you supposed to do doesn't mean you're supposed to do it. So y'all acting like you care about kids. That's why I'm always, I, when I, every time I'm on Instagram and I see these cute, adorable children, Every now and again, I think about the dirty old men and women who are watching these children and saving, like saving the videos and sending them to other people. And I don't know if that's why they stop showing how many times vi uh, videos are shared on Instagram, but you know how you used to hit the little envelope and it'll tell you how many times it had been shared before you shared it. They've taken away that feature. And I'm not sure why. I don't know why. I haven't researched it, but I think it's odd to take away how many times, to see how many times somebody has shared this. Because I do notice on children's posts, and I've, I've heard some TikToks, it's like, be mindful when you're sharing your kids. And I know you should, you're like, I, it's not, it's not, it's like, I shouldn't have to put restrictions on the way that I live because evil people exist. And I totally agree with that. But there's just some measurements that you should put in place because you know it exists, right? So you lock your doors at night, right? Okay, same same things. It's a precaution, right? You're, you don't, nobody's, more, more than likely, nobody's going to walk in your house, but you lock the door as a precaution to keep out whatever might be lurking, right? So I feel like the same thing should be the mind should be to go to go to your Insta, to your social media when it comes to children, especially little young boys, little young girls, because seven years old, that's second grade. And the fact that 
this person in the comments is saying a man sent her a picture of a child doing something with an adult man. Y'all have to be mindful with these kids, the people. I, I just, I don't know. I, I, you just have to be mindful. So yes, all men is my thing. All right, let's move on. CVJ is over three. They're heartbroken over someone. Damn, I fucked up real bad this time. I'm sorry I've learned. The fact that anyone gives him a chance is beyond me, but he should be cast out. Nobody should be getting close to CVJ. Him and Offset are going through it. Did he broke up with him? The pick means will always be available. Men will never change. I'm here to tell you. I'm sorry to break it up, girl, on this Friday. I'm sorry to break it up for you, girl. But they're not going to change. And when I'm talking about men, I'm talking about the socialized, cisgender, heterosexual man. Now, when I talk about cisgender gay men, they operate the same as socialized men that's why a lot not not a lot of them but uh, they're that's why you get shocked when you oh they're they're misogynistic and stuff like that but they've been socialized under the same system too so when you meet a cisgender gay man and he is misogynistic you have to understand he's been he's been socialized under the same system all the heteronormative ideas because even though gay when they go into gay relationships they're practicing heteronormative ideologies and practices and rituals right so it's the same socialization just gay same thing with women but with men specifically with men, they're not going to change because there is always going to be a crop of women, pick me women, who do not care what the man's history is. This is the reason why Stevie J and the rest of them are allowed to continue because there will always be women who have no self-worth because no, having no self-worth as a woman in this society is by design. And then it allows the men who have harmed people for you to not even see that this man has harmed other women. You don't even care about that. You're so focused on him. That's how fucking delusional you are. But that's by design. You have such a low self-worth that you will take and participate in a relationship with a man who has harmed women. That's how low your self-worth is. But that's also by design. You have to come out of that. You have to unlearn that. That gives, that allows men more access to you. Pick me's who run around like that woman that was in the comments the other day talking about the chef was like, why he didn't pick me? And then got, and then girl, she got mad at me because I said, this is the most pick me shit I've ever seen. You running around on the internet saying that a man who ejaculates and everybody should have picked you. Girl, you lost for the day. Go get some rest. It must be hard being a goddamn pick me. But that's by design. There will always be those women. So the men will all will never change. Stevie J, J is going to die looking for a woman to, to misuse in some kind of way to siphon from. There's no reason in the world Faith Evans should have married Stevie J in the year in the in the era of electric cars there's no way but there was something with her self-worth that was in the toilet underneath the toilet around the toilet to where she decided to bond bind herself legally to this man and then you see what he did so when i say yes all men because yes they are all socialized the same Y'all running around here trying to find the ones who are defective, the ones who have rejected their socialization. Those are the men who get called simps and stuff like that. The men who are actually kind, the men who are attuned, the men who are balanced in their masculine and feminine aspects and know how to um, 
um, bring order to chaos. A lot of these men, a part of being masculine, a part of masculinity is bringing order. A lot of these men are running around creating disorder. So they're, they're, they're imbalanced in their masculinity already. So you can't even deal with somebody who has too much masculinity and rejects his femininity. That's a completely imbalanced person. Same with you. You want to rest in your femininity. That's dangerous, girl. And you look into your greatest threat to pull up the slack. Are you nuts? These niggas is chaining women to trees, girl. Husbands, ex-husband, chained his wife, ex-wife to a tree and left her ass for dead. And, and, and left her with her ID and everything like, ain't nobody going to find you. I'm going to leave you with all this shit. Ain't nobody going to find you. By the time they find you with your ID, that's the only reason they're going to know who you are. You're going to be dead. She was like, oh, no, motherfucker. I got a, I got a, got a trick for your ass. And she woke up, honey, and was writing and writing and writing and writing and writing and writing. She was like, bitch, I'm not going to, I'm not going to forget this. It was some of y'all in the comments saying, I know she saw all type of shit when she was out, out in them damn, in that damn forest. Trying to survive being chained to a tree. Somebody said the tree is who saved her. That was a, that would be the first thing I would do. Commune with the tree. Cause bitch, you're going to, we, you're going to keep me alive. We're going to work together. Because we are two living things. And, I, as, and he connected me to a living thing. Thank you. Trust and believe. When somebody said God was with her, you got damn right. She was in the forest. You got damn right God was with her. But these motherfuckers is around here chaining women to trees and shit. And they're trying to get you in close proximity. Shout out to Bourbon Bougie. I was listening to some of her Reddit posts. These women, white women. That's what y'all need to see. Y'all need to see the white women. Because black women, you're still living in this delusion that men are going to get it together one day. They don't even have the tools to get it together because the women will always be available. Why should I get it together? Huh? There's no consequence for my bad behavior. What the fuck? You learn that with fucking raising a puppy, with fucking raising toddlers. When there's no consequence for bad behavior, it ensues. You have to learn rewards, consequences. You'd have to learn that with training animals, with training children, and apparently with men, with adult men. So I say, yes, all men. I read another story of a, of, of a 12 year old or 13 year old in Florida somewhere living with a 30, she ran away from home living with a 32, 32 year old man. She, and I said to myself, she ran away from home to go live with a grown man more than likely, the man in that house was probably harming her and she just ran to another person. It's horrible. Portia is so, every time, I'm so sorry. I, I have never ever, and, and you know, Portia reminds me, every now and again, I tell y'all about this girl that I used to hang out with in my 20s. And she used to act stupid for men and they used to eat it up and it used to it, it used to infuriate me because she was uh, fucking had a degree and she'd just be acting so stupid and slow. And the men, she picked me supreme. The men ate it the fuck up. That, I think that's a, a, one of the reasons a lot of I, it, I'm not I'm not doing no performances. I'm not doing nothing. The pick me's, remember the pick me's in the club acting like they was gay so the men could be looking? Remember them? Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams alleges that her husband, Simon Guabadia, if that is his name, is worth $300 million. In divorce document, Portia and her attorneys claim Simon had plenty of money to drag out the divorce. Given Simon has a net worth of well over $300 million, Simon is clearly clearly has resources to continue to unnecessarily expand the instant divorce action and is currently using those resources to propound intrusive and harassing discovery requests that clearly violate the intent and spirit of the parties. What does Rodney say? Simon is uh, swinging Portia every which away. That's exactly what he's doing. You picked the right one this time. You thought you had a dummy. You thought you had a dummy, a motherfucking nigga who's been scamming since before you was here, bitch. You thought you had a dummy. 
And you even more of a dummy to believe that this man is worth $300 million. That's what fucked you up in the first place. You had your little minor hat on and the light was getting dim, right? You was getting up there. 40, 41, 42, can't get the, can't get the young little athletes. I mean, Dre is down there. You might can get go get you a young little at little 22, 23 year old first round draft pick. Cause they scooping up the Cougars. Cause you in the range, Cougar. You on Cougar Avenue. You went and found you this motherfucking man stuffed some fucking serial number teeth in his goddamn mouth and thought you had a fucking prize. Bitch, I ain't forgot. It's giving. Look away. It's giving taken. It's giving, what is giving, Portia? Taken. It's giving taken. <laughs> mm. For real. It's giving look away. It's taking for real. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> give me some sugar. It's giving dumb. It's giving stupid. It's giving pick me pitfalls. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Y'all go out and find these niggas and then they and then they drag your ass. You legally bound yourself to that man and quit your jobs. You are not a victim. You, you chose that man, baby. And you think he's worth $300 million? And Fallon said, girl, take him. <laughs> Showed you goddamn, when, when, let me tell you something. When a pick me lets go of a man and just hands her off to another woman, bitch, if you don't see that as the biggest red flag, Girl, I gotta go. Portia and her legal team claimed the prenup made it clear that demanding dep depositions and issuing subpoenas would violate the contract's intent. I hope she doesn't get a penny. She won a lifestyle, but not what comes with it. I would have stood by my man. Forget his past. That's none of my business. You sound like a damn fool. When I tell you, women will literally walk you down the aisle to your goddamn doom, bitch. L l let me tell you something. You and the man is standing on the goddamn, you, he's standing on a fucking cliff right here. Here your homegirls cheering you cheering you on all the way and you grab his hand and let him lead you down to the valley baby i don't understand i i literally wish that there can be a collective uh fucking vibration that comes over this earth and wakes all of you up i know that it happens in waves and i know it comes at different levels of the game but I still cannot understand why in 2024 are we still walking into these type of things, walking into these types of things and then being rewarded as if Portia did some great thing. In, in other worlds, y'all would have been upset with Portia, but for some reason you're not how she moved in this whole thing. You are getting exactly what you signed up for. You signed up for this. You went in that woman's house, giving that nigga bumps. Y'all, he done already had his dick in you. Oh, ooh. I, every time I talk about that situation, it just sickens me because the fact that y'all didn't railroad Portia like she should have been. Who the fuck walks in somebody's house, fucks their husband, and then acts like, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Then the motherfucker is a scammer since 81. Then shout out to Tisa Tales. She does a whole expose on the motherfucker. And, and then you went and legally attached yourself to this man. You quit your jobs. You, you fucking bragged to everybody. I'm having three weddings and a funeral. I guess this is the funeral. Let me know where the repass is. Too bad Portia didn't do her homework on who he was as a man. Saw those dollar signs and, pay, and played Stevie Wonder to all his red flags. I don't have an ounce of sympathy for her. 
She was just calling that man broke. I thought she recently posted that he was broke. Now he's rich again. The inconsistency. She wants his house. He offered her a settlement and she turned it down. And then the fact that you didn't see what you didn't see what happened to Fallon in her divorce to him. And for again, once again, you thought you were going to have a different dining experience. And bitch, you in the restaurant. He didn't put chains on the door, bitch. You can't get out. And you running around like a goddamn chicken with your head cut off. And everybody's on the outside trying to see what the fuck is happening in there. Waiting for their chance. After you come out looking like a damn fool. Girl, I gotta go. Take care of each other. Portia, I don't know what to tell you, girl. You signed up for this nigga. And you getting what you deserve. You getting what you signed up. You're getting what you signed up for. This is your funeral. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Protect your assets. Don't quit no job for no man. I don't give a fuck if he tells you he's going to take care of you. Don't you do no dumb shit like that. Don't quit a job. Don't move. Don't leave school for no fucking man. Do you understand me? Peace.